Hey y'all, welcome back to another channel. My name is Kaya. As you see today, we are doing a moisture routine because y'all been asking for it. So let's get into it. Um, prep items, water bottle, Dollar Tree. These are the essential oils that I showed you guys in my last video. I'm gonna link it up in the cards because I don't even know what it's called at this point. But I got all these essential oils from Amazon, 100% essential oils, and I'm gonna be using them today. Eucalyptus, Tor Lavender. I think they messed up that label, y'all. I think it's supposed to be true, but yeah. Um, some lavender, some vanilla, and some vitamin E oil. Now, one thing about these oils, as you're gonna see when we go through it after I show you the purified water, y'all don't use tap. It got too many minerals and stuff. Use purified. Um, okay, let me just slow down. <laughs> so pour your water in your bottle. Leave enough room so that when we pour the oils in, it could shake up and still separate, but you still have room. So I just kind of gauged it. Now this vitamin E oil, Pora Dor, I think that's how you pronounce it. Every syringe kind of sucked up a different level of oil, so I'm just gonna tell you what I put in here. I put in two syringefuls of vitamin E oil because there were no demarcations on how many milliliters the liquid was. But if you get this brand, I would say use vitamin E as your base and use a lot of it. Next, I use vanilla. I love vanilla. I used about four syringefuls of this vanilla. Um, I wanted it to be the most strong fragrance in my moisturizer this time around just because it smells so good, y'all. It smells so nice. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Ginger, I forget what ginger is good for, but as you see, it's spicy and warm, and it's winter time, and if you want to be spicy and warm like me, um, use some ginger. Now, I didn't use a lot. This was the only syringe that actually had numbers on it, so I think that was about 0.25 milliliters. Um, so I'll just use one of those. Now y'all, that was way too much eucalyptus. You see that? Don't be like me. Use less. I put a whole one syringe full in. It just overpowered. So in the end, it's not on camera, but I actually added more lavender. Again, Tor. I Googled this, y'all. Ain't no such thing as Tor lavender. It's true. They messed it up. But I used two syringe fulls of this true lavender to kind of balance out the eucalyptus because I wanted my hair to be, you know, ting ting, like sting sting on my head. So when it the air goes past, I could feel it, but it was just way too minty. All right, now that I got all my water in it, I'm gonna go ahead and shake up my Dollar Tree bottle. It works the same. And when you shake it, every time you use it or right before you use it, just make sure you give it a good shake so that the water tries to mix in with the oil as best as possible. If you did science in elementary school, you know that's not possible, but yeah, try your best. All right, so my head looks crusty under this bonnet. <laughs> it been looking like this for a while and it's ripped. Don't judge my bonnet. <clears throat> I'm recovering from COVID also, so don't judge me. But it was too tight, so I had to split it. Y'all, my hair looks a hot, dry mess. It got some body. I'm not gonna even come for me. It got some body, but it was dry. Look at them edges. Who I am five and a half weeks post retwist. I get my hair done Saturday by the time y'all looking at this video, so don't judge me. So you're gonna get some clips. This is how I do it. I mean, I will say this entire video you're gonna watch, I do this every other day because I heavily, heavily moisturize my hair. And I feel like it works better when you work in sections. I like starting in the back of my head. It just makes sense because eventually it's gonna drip down a little bit and I just don't want that on my face. If y'all see that lock that's like in between my ring and my pinky finger, it's kind of twisted. Those are some locks that I feel like are a little bit weaker and they're still trying to lock. So if you have locks that are you know, all the way formed yet and you wanna just make sure that they don't unravel or get messed up as you're going about your day to day, just twist them up. Now, here's another shot. I'm just thoroughly spraying and lifting my hair and I'm lifting my locks with the insides of my fingers. Do not at any point use your nails. You're just gonna pull out unnecessary hair and it's just not good. You don't need to do all that. But <clears throat> if you have jewelry, take it off. I forgot I had that ring on. But yeah, you're just gonna wanna work and sandwich the moisture into your hair as if my girlies out there with natural hair. You know how you moisturize your hair and you really like kind of pancake it and squeeze it in. I have low porosity hair y'all and having micro locks didn't fix that. <laughs> so it takes a lot for me to get the moisture in my head. So once I finish one section, I just move over to the next and y'all, I thought I was doing something right here. I thought I had a little style. I put it up and I was like, am I cute? <laughs> it wasn't cute. I just needed to get the hair out the way, but I thought I was cute for a second. Look at the little updo, okay 90s. Anyway. Pull that hair down and move to the next section. It doesn't matter where you go, but this was just falling. And then my squirt bottle somehow got on extra strong and I could not figure out why it wasn't like, whoosh, it was just going. Sk, sk, sk. 
So I turned the dial and I got the actual like little mist out instead of the squirt. If you had this type of bottle, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, just continue around your head. Spray, 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 spray. Oh, y'all like my nails? I did my nails. This is a tortoise inspired nail set. I love tortoise, tortoise anything. Looks like my hair actually brown and black, but yeah, they were really cute. And I had some diamonds, but some of them was coming off, so I have to put some back. All right, so here we are at the edges. So now I said I'm five and a half weeks post retwist. So sometimes if I got somewhere to go or I just want to neaten up the front of my hair real quick, I'll just go ahead and like twist this like you would a traditional lock just to give it, you know, a little bit more of a neater appearance. And you see like that baby twist was enough. Don't do this on dry hair. You should not manipulate your hair period on dry hair. But after I um, moisturize my hair, I'll just like find the ones that look a little unruly like that. <laughs> Don't judge me for that. Um, and twist it up and then I push them out the way and then BAM edges together girl and this is what the right side of my hair is looking like I do have a favorite side y'all it is my right side only because me and my left y'all we've been through it shawty she just been I don't know she's getting better we're doing better it was my fault I was pulling at her a couple months ago when I was stressed but she's doing a lot better I'm trying to take the measures to actually get her you know back healthy and not manipulated so um it's very important that if you have different textures different lengths all over your head cater to that section of your hair specifically like on the right side of my hair most of my locks a majority almost all of my locks are locked like there's no slippage there's nothing coming out like my locks are locked you can see it even hangs differently when we move to my left side especially when my hair drops one you could see the weight difference it doesn't hang as heavy as the right side of my hair and then also it's a little bit shorter so i just make sure i'm a little bit more careful and i add a little bit more moisture but i also work it in a little bit better on this side if it makes sense like you just have to tailor your hair to whatever your needs are and if you have different textures all over your hair then so be it you know you just have to do what works best for you. Everybody's head is not perfect. Micro locks, sister locks, tiny locks, robe locks, it don't matter. Everybody's locks is different. So do what works best for your hair. All right, so, and look, you could see the still shot. Like the left side right there, it's getting better. But on the very back, back, back side of my left side, it's, it's growing out, but you could see it's almost like a chunk of my hair missing y'all <laughs> like show her where she go and i'm just showing you like how the curly ends on the left hand side are a little bit more prominent than like you don't see that over here like these are locked the other side is giving like babies like what you doing but they're a lot better than they were a couple months ago so yo i'm talking a lot running out of breath okay we're in the middle at this point so i just did the same method y'all shook the bottle drench my hair as much as it needs to be drenched you can see the oil in the water on top of my hair and i really just work it through and sandwich it through when you do this like little smoothing action that i'm doing right here it really focuses that moisture on the ends of your hair because it's winter time whether it's winter time or summertime you want your hair moisturized and you really have to push it in you don't want it just sitting on the top of your hair so really take the time to push it through um, like I said, I do this routine probably like every two days. My hair will stay moisturized. This is either the morning time or the night time. At this point, it was the night time. Um, and my hair was good for like a day and a half. So I did it, I don't know what day this was. I just did it two days later. But um, it just felt really good. It was really, really moisturized. And if your hair is a little bit more drier than mine, you may need to do this every day. But for me, I do this every two days. Once in the morning or once at night. I'm really tired of my brown ends, y'all. I really don't like them anymore. I want to color my hair, but I know the dangers of coloring your hair, so I'm not. But once my hair is moisturized, it looks like this. You could definitely see the body from like the first shot. Baby was stiff. She wasn't really moving. And now we got body oldie. Look at that locks is growing beautiful beautiful now it's winter so this is something i don't use in the summer because i don't want to crisp my hair up but this is the aussie moist intense moisturizer and what i do with this after i've already put my essential oil mix on my hair i'll just put this on the very bottom end of my hair and then at the top for my flyaways only because i want my ends to be moisturized like they're gonna get the driest the fastest and i really don't want that to happen so when i'm done it kind of looks like this 
Look at her, looking all beautiful, moving and shaking and grooving. My camera died, so I'm just showing you guys again what I did. Put a little small pump, one pump, warm it up, and I just put that over top of my hair. And it looks like I actually rubbed it on the outside. So just the top of it. But look at that back shot. Look at her giving back shots. Look at it. Look at her. Look at good. She looks healthy. You can just see that little chunk on the left side. She growing out. We, we ain't going. We ain't judging my hair. She doing what she got to do. She moved. There we go. Is this a Missy video? I don't know. I can't stand the rain. It's my window. Uh, 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 stand the rain. Shake it like a salt shaker. All right. So, um, this is nighttime. I'm going to go to bed with my bonnet on. But even in the daytime, if I'm not going to wear y'all, I work from home. I put my hair back in my bonnet. Or I put a scarf on because, yeah, I don't need my hair all that long. So I'm just going to put it in like this and I wear my bonnet all day. Leave it alone. If I got somewhere to go, what I've been doing recently, especially in the winter with putting on a hat, I will just put the bonnet on the top part of my hat or my head where the hat is going to sit and I'll put the hat on. Just so that all that friction from the hat is not just rubbing on top of my hair because like you wouldn't do it to your natural hair. You don't want to do it to your locks. Locks, I know our hair is already matted together but we want to make sure we're really taking care of it so this is what i do to just protect my hair in the winter time but this routine is really simple y'all i mean i don't do too much to my hair i try to keep my hands out i'm gonna go ahead and make you guys a video because i am fiending for some like feeding cornrows and i got some hair so i'm gonna do it for y'all but that's it that's look at me i look cute yeah i look cute but that's it <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take this off and that's about how much I use so I will have to refill this about twice a week if I do this every other day and I'm only using half a bottle so that's all the products I went through so you shouldn't blow through your oils or your water but I hope y'all like my hair if you do leave me a comment down below for any questions I hope you guys come back and see me another time have a good week and see you in the next video bye